Um, all right, Rick Hyduke is here. He has details on the NEPA Bluegrass Festival. It is kicking off already underway. Um, the cool thing about it, it's celebrating its eighth year, so people do know about it, but you're here to give us some extra details, Rick. How are you doing today? I'm doing fine. All right, so tell us what you know. Well, I fell into it about four years ago because I was a big fan of bluegrass music. I still believe that bluegrass is the essential, uh, the essence of country music. And I went to it, and there's nothing better than hearing music outdoors anyway if it's something that you like. Something about bluegrass, it just really seems to come from the soul. And when I'm sitting outside listening to it, it, it literally gives me goosebumps. I mean, I just sit there. I feel like I'm, I'm being taken away to another place. And the uh, acts are so good. There's Grammy-nominated The Boxcars who will be there tomorrow night. If I get there early enough, if I get back there, I get to see Ernie and Tyler, but if I miss them, they're on at noon tomorrow. That's one of the good things about it. Most of the acts are on twice. There are two stages, a traditional stage and a progressive stage. At the progressive stage, the musicians are encouraged to maybe go outside the boundaries of bluegrass and get a little crazy. So I'm looking forward on the progressive stage later tonight to uh, see Driftwood from Binghamton. It'll be the first time I've seen them. And the Coal Town Rounders are there from Scranton, who I have seen many times and just, I can't see them enough. They're awesome. And the new act this year is uh, Nothing Fancy from Virginia. They're getting a lot of buzz in the bluegrass world. And I'm very, uh, much looking forward to seeing them. So we can come tonight, we can come tomorrow or Sunday, or we can stay the entire weekend, pay one price and camp there, bring our pets and everything. For $65, you can camp there for free. Uh, that's what I'm doing this year for the first time because too many times I've sat there and listened to the music, I'm enjoying it, and all of a sudden it's nighttime and I'm tired and I only live about 20 minutes away, so we took our camper there last night oh, so nice. we can stay there this time. We're gonna go home, do a little bit of work, take care of the pets, go back down to the park tomorrow you and see some more. You should take the pets with you, right? I don't know if the cats would really like okay, I music. hear you. I understand. <laughs> so what about the food? Is there food there? The food's incredible. There's such a big variety of food there. You don't have to bring any food with you at all. Um, it's taken care of from breakfast to, through supper. They take a dinner break in the afternoon um, and evening. But the best part about the two stages is that if you don't want to take your dinner break right then, you can move over to the other stage and there's still music going on. Oh, and they're great. far enough apart that you can't hear the other stage. It sounds like a blast. It's the NEPA Bluegrass Festival tonight, right now. Saturday, Sunday, stop by anytime, stay all weekend. It's at the beautiful Lazy Brook Park in Tunkanic. For more information, just head to their website. There's a full list there for you guys. NEPA Bluegrass.com. Rick Hi Duke, thank you for being here. And you thank you better you. go, because I know you're oh, not, I can't you wait. wanna have fun. I'm all right, to it. cool. Thank you. Dave over